everybody, Yama is here with Alan Metal Ford. Today I'm talking about coal. Uh, recently I did a video on how to light a coal forge and I just, I did it with uh, bituminous coal and as that's, you know, mainly what I use. Uh, however, lately I've been using anthracite, which is a little bit different and it works a little bit differently. Uh, several people in the comments of the video uh, requested that I do a few different videos on coal. Uh, one of the request, requests was how to light and work with anthracite. So that's what this video is going to be about. Um, but before I get into that, a uh, quick, quick topic of the, the basic differences of forging, you know, forging coal. So primarily I use uh, bituminous, which is also known and referred to as soft coal. It's, it's light, it's, you can feel that it's a bit softer, um, it flakes and makes dust easier, whereas uh, the anthracite is a bit harder, you can tell that it's harder, like hear the difference with that compared to that. You know, this is softer and this is a harder coal. Um, I have those pieces right here. This is a piece of anthracite, and this is a piece of anthracite after it's been burning. You know, it kind of softens up and gets flaky, crumbly, and, and that's what will burn and eventually turn to ash. Okay? Um, bituminous coal will eventually, or will start to coke up. This is, a, this started out about the same size as this. It, it puffed out. It, it gets very light and airy, and that burns very nicely. <clears throat> you can also get and forge with straight coke. This, that's what this is called, coke. Uh, it's what bituminous turns into. Now, as with all of them, then you have clinker, and that's based on the impurity counts. Um, for the most part, I don't get much clinker with my bi the bi bituminous that I that I get from my guild, um, but clinker happens. Uh, that is, you throw it away or you can coat it with like a polyurethane and, you know, give it away as dragon snot. <laughs> Fun little things you can do with that, otherwise it's useless. Uh, grind it up and use it, you know, throw it on the floor for, you know, traction, whatever. A lot of things you can go and do with that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set these aside. Uh, you know, break break some of it open and show you. I'll just boom. You know, real crumbles, leaves a little pile of dust. You know, that's the bituminous. All right, now the anthracite. Oof, it kind of shatters and uh, flakes. Goes kind of all over the place. I probably should have put my <laughs> safety glasses on for that. But yeah, it just starts to shatter and uh, flake. So that's the main uh, physical differences uh, for the two coals. Now, with whereas with, if you watch the other video, bituminous will coke up and you can like form a cave or shapes and like walls and different things, you know, you could adjust the fire to your need and it will stay lit for quite a while without airflow. Um, I've had, the longest I've had a fire stay lit where all I had to do is give the crank a quick, you know, one over turn to keep the fire going is about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, anthracite requires like a constant airflow. Uh, it will, it will go out fairly quickly. I haven't timed it, but it's a matter of under 10 minutes, like five minutes or so, and it'll start to die down where you really have to work to stoke it back up. Uh, so when I'm running anthracite, I have a vacuum put on reverse or a, a, an electric blower hooked up to it so that it's constantly, you know, running. And I have, as you can see here, a little rheostat that, you know, I can adjust and, you know, control the motor. So... Without further ado, I'm going to light fresh 
anthracite coal, and it, and it lights very much the same as bituminous. Uh, I use charcoal briquettes, main, you know, for lighting this mainly. They hold the heat, you know, a little bit longer than the wood that I use. Uh, shavings of a two by four, um, and it allows me to get the get the fire lit quickly. So let's move over to my dirty forge table and uh, light up some fires. All right. All right, as you can see, I've got my fire pot cleared out, and uh, all I've got for my grate is just a like a three eighths X or quarter inch X into it, you know, instead of just three lines or one line or several holes. Uh, that's the style I decided to go to. Let's uh, fill it up with stuff. So, as with the um, bituminous. You put the cardboard down, but then instead of wood, I just throw some charcoal briquettes in there. It helps it stay lit a bit longer. All right, let me set you down. All right, now, of course, any fire starts with fire. So let's get this lit. Let it start to burn. I'll add a bit of air. And this is from fresh. Just like with the uh, bituminous, I'll put a bit down at the bottom, kind of direct. You know, around the outside. Now with anthracite, that you'll hear this popping when you're going from cold anthracite to a hot fire, it'll start to pop a little bit. Again, this is just how I start it. Now I do have used coal, you know, ready to light coal around the outside, but I want to show you from fresh. Get some coal around it. I'm going to turn the air up. and you can see that it's starting to light. You want to keep that glow alive. Pretty much now all you're doing is waiting for the fire, the heat to spread out and the fireball to grow.
what I'm doing here is I'm packing that fireball a bit tighter while keeping an opening, uh, a chimney, so to speak. And then you just leave it sit. Then you just leave it sit and let it light. Now, I am sure there are more efficient ways, easier ways to start. Like if you have a... Uh, an oxyacetylene torch or something and you set it in there and let it light you know where you can get it really hot really quick but I don't have any of that fancy equipment I've got a lighter Now if you can see it through the glare, right here you have red hot coals. Let me grab a pair of tongs and pull a piece out. That is a piece of anthracite hot all the way through. Now if you watch, it cools down pretty quickly. I mean, if you think about it, we're lighting rocks on fire. And there, I have an anthracite coal fire. Now I'll show you how to work with anthracite, and it's very similar to working with bi uh, bituminous. Uh, except for the fact that bituminous cokes, you want to use the same kind of techniques. So,
when working with coal, you don't jab the piece in. That You don't jab it in, that, that disturbs everything. You want to lay it on top, wiggle it down a bit, and then take your coal rake and pull over the hot em pull the hot embers over it. And then you have your piece in the fire. And as I've said before, I'm sure there's many different ways to, to light and work with coal, different techniques that work for different people. Um, after watching videos and reading books and reading on forums and asking questions back when I first started, I combined several different techniques and while working with it, developed my own, you know, whether they are brand new, I, I doubt it, you know, nothing's new under the sun, but pretty much what you're comfortable with and what works is what's important. y'all learned something. So, as I said before, the previous video had a bunch of requests of, hey, can you do this? Can you work with anthracite? Can you, can you do this? How do you do this? Um, if you have any other questions about coal, let me know in the comments and I'll try and address them or make videos. Or if you have the video idea, if you want to see a video of how to dot, 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 uh, if I know how, I'll make a video. If not, I'll learn it and make a video. That's what this channel is about. Uh, my next video uh, on coal is going to be lighting a green bituminous. So it will be from scratch, no coke, lighting it fresh. So I'll do that. Now, spoiler, it's almost exactly like what I just did. So, but it was uh, requested, so I will, uh, I'll put it out there. All right, and with that, I'm going to let you guys get back to your day. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something again. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Hearts and health. And don't forget, check out my uh, previous video about coal. And uh, hit that subscribe button. And uh, this one's a fun one.